So I've started a tub block here that I want to build as a dynamic block because I've got three or four different versions of it and I don't want to have to create you know three or four different blocks um, and I want the ability to switch back and forth. Now there's different ways that we can build this information in here. What we can do is we can actually add parameters and actions and parameter sets are really just a combination so it just kind of streamlines the process. It, it puts in the parameters and the associated actions required. So it's really just a combination of these two. The other method is we can actually do it via constraints. So the same geometric constraints and dimensioning um, that you would access from the parametric tab. So if you're parametrically defining geometry. So that's what I'm going to do in this case. What I'm going to do is come in here and I'm actually going to auto constrain this first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run um, and select my objects here and I'm going to have it automatically apply constraints. So what's done there is it's gone through and applied um, horizontal and verticals and, and, and different things like that um, as we can see here. So parallels and tangencies and, and stuff like that um, to apply to the list. So and I could go through and, and, and add additional constraints. So horizontals and verticals and, and everything else that's required. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some dimensions. So I'm going to add some linear parametric dimensions here. So if I go to the drop down, um, I can simply force this into linear or horizontal or vertical. So I'm just going to use a linear option. I'm going to pick this line here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dimension here. Um, but I don't want this to be called D1. What I want this to be called is I want this to be called the, the length. So I'm going to actually call this tub underscore length and I'm going to make this equal to um, I should have checked what it was before because I don't actually want to change it um, so let's do that again so just real quick here we'll pick those two lines there 60 is what it is so I'm going to make this tub underscore length and I'm going to say equal to 60 so I've gone through and added that I'm now going to add another one to the back here and I'm going to do it based on object this time and we're going to say this is the tub underscore um, width and this will be equal to 36 is what that is so I could change the values if I wanted to at this point let's add one more here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another linear dimension I'm going to add it from um, this point to this point and what this is going to be is just simply a value to set the offset so I'm going to come in here I'm going to pick my point I'm going to set that to 4 to change that offset so we'll do the same thing down here, we'll do linear, we'll do it from here to there, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set that um, equal to D1. So we'll type D1, and we've made that equal just to set that, that offset value in there. Okay, so I've constrained my block, I've added some geometric constraints, um, let's just see what happens when we go and use this. Now there's actually a test block mechanism, but what I'm going to do is actually close the editor here. I'm going to save my changes and let's just actually see what happens when I work with it here. So I'm going to take this block and notice that there are certain grips here appearing. And what I'm going to do is take this grip and notice I'm able to take that and actually take that and lengthen it. So I'm actually able to go in there and change the size of it. Now why are these ones appearing and not these ones is I didn't change the names of this one. So remember it was set to D1 and D2, so it simply ignored those ones. If I come in here and look at the properties for this, notice that there are some values down here at the bottom for tub length and tub width, and notice I could come in here and actually change it. So if I wanted to change that to 2, notice how it's gone through and updated that um, and changed the thickness on that. So even though grips aren't appearing, I am able to go in there and change that. Now at any point in time, I can right click on here and I can actually reset the block and put it back to its original um, condition. So let's go in there and let's fine tune this a little bit. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to do a block editor to put this back into the block editor. And let's just take the property palette and let's just move this over a little bit. So where I'm going to start is I'm going to start with this D1 and we can see the current name and the expression and the value. And what I'm going to do here is say, you know what, I do not want to show that in the um, editor and I want zero grips because I don't actually want to change that value. I want that to always be four. So what I'm going to do is come in here and change that so that it doesn't show up anywhere so that I have no ability to change that whatsoever. The parameter, um, the dimension is still going to be there. It's still going to be controlling um, 
my tub, but I don't want to be able to change that as I'm working with, with, my, with my block. Well, let's add another linear dimension in here. Let's go from here to there, and we'll set this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to D1 um, times um, 0.75. So it's always gonna be three quarters of that value. Um, so I've set that there. And again, I'm gonna pick this value and I'm gonna say that, um, you know what, we don't want this to show and we want zero grips on that. Okay, so I'm okay with, with the rest now. Um, you know, maybe what we should probably do is we probably should do some type of dimension here at the, at the front here. So let's do the same thing. Let's do that. Let's grab that value there. Um, let's bring this down and let's make this equal to, um, let's make that equal to that D3. So we'll go D3 and we'll set that value. So now as I change the length of the tub, the, the inner portion of it should, should um, grow with it as well. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to my tub length here, and I want to actually set a limit on it. So what I'm going to do is actually set an increment value on it. So I'm going to set an increment um, in, interval of 12. The minimum is going to be 60 because I don't want it to get any smaller than this. And the maximum on this is um, I could just have this go forever if I wanted to. And actually, let's just do that. Let's actually just leave the maximum. We'll see what happens. What I'm going to do for the tub width is I'm going to pick the tub width and I'm going to go in here and change the distance type to a list because I want to go in there and set the available sizes. So I'm going to click there and it's going to fire up a little dialog box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 30 as an option, 36. I'm going to have um, 45. I'm going to add that and I'm going to have 54 and a half. So I've gone through and I've added my various sizes. So let's cl click OK to that. And without exiting out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my test block mechanism. So what it is, is kind of like a temporary kind of in between. So I'm still in the block editor, but allows me to kind of test this without having to exit. So now when I take a look at this, I can see now, um, I forgot about that D4 I added, but notice that, you know, just the tub length and tub width are available. Notice now when I click this, I can only snap at 12 inch increments, right? So it's only going to allow me to go in that direction. And when I go in this direction, um, notice that it's only allowed me to go through the options that I picked from the list. So you know what, this is close, uh, but not quite what I wanted to because what I forgot is to go to this D3 value and I forgot to go to this D3 value and say, um, no, I don't want that to show up. So I'm gonna set that to zero um, so that that block doesn't show up. Okay, so I seem to, to be having the um, options that I wanted to go in there. I've, I've now got um, the, the size is set the way I want um, and only the different options on there. Okay, now let's actually close this and let's, go, let's see what happens. Let's save the changes. Let's take this block and let's do a copy on this. Let's place in a couple different sizes of this. And let's come in here and let's take this one. Let's make this one narrower. And let's take this one. And let's make this one wider as well as longer. So you can see that it's still the same block definition. I just got different instances of it. Now, one thing to kind of get used to is that if I take this and let's just do a list on this, is that it is dropping in an ominous name. So it is still the my tub, but to differentiate this from the other ones, this has been assigned U19. And if I take a look at this one and do a list on it, this one's been set as U17. So there is a differentiator between them, but it is still pulling from the my tub. And that being said, let's go in there, let's make a change. So let's come in here, let's take this. I'm going to do a block editor on it. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to delete this plus sign um, on the drain there. So I've removed that geometry, we'll close it, we'll save our changes. And notice that how all three instances of that block definition has updated with it. So that's how you can go in there and using parametrics, you can define your um, block, but also use it to drive the various sizes and configurations in there. They can have list values, they can have increment values, you can set mins and maxes on it, um, and you can really use the parametrics to drive that block.